I'm Matt Gishard. In this episode of No Holds Barred, we're going to talk about distracted driving and the impact of distracted driving on highway safety, deaths on the road, and injuries on the road. The National Highway Transportation Agency has listed statistics for years over deaths on the highway, DUI deaths, that kind of thing. And in more recent years, they've put up statistics related to distracted driving. What is distracted driving? Well, people talking on their phones, texting, maybe playing with the radio or entertainment systems in their cars, eating, shaving, putting on makeup. Any number of things can constitute distracted driving. And it's important for people to understand that driving a vehicle uh, requires lots and lots of attention, lots of different functions, and a mind that's focused on what's out there on the road, not on eating a hamburger or worse, texting. And it seems to be that texting is uh, the cause of most of the accidents that are uh, resulting in deaths on the highway, according to the uh, national statistics. Approximately 3,100 people are killed each year on our highways in the United States due to distracted driving. The numbers are somewhere around 12 or 13,000 DUI deaths throughout the United States. Let's talk about California specifically and the number of DUI deaths in a year, uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of 850. Uh, that, that's, that's a lot in California. And so uh, likewise, a number of distracted drivings would be lower than the 3,100 nationally. But most importantly, understand that if you are seen to be driving with a phone in your hand, that is cell phone use in the state of California. If you're texting and you're having to look down or you're trying to find a phone number or anything such as the use of a phone is really what most of the st statistics point to. There is a California Vehicle Code section, 23123.5, that specifically talks about uh, use of an electronic device, particularly a cell phone. And the sad part is, in the state of California, the fine for use of a cell phone while driving or texting while driving is $20 for the first offense. The second offense is $50. And every offense afterwards is $50. Now let's go and look at some statistics out of Washington and Oregon. It is interesting that Washington and Oregon have similar statutes, as California has, related to distracted driving and cell phone use. However, their uh, occurrences have dropped significantly, that is, cell phone use and texting. And why is that? Well, uh, we're speculating there are a number of reasons uh, potentially Perhaps uh, the police are enforcing it more strongly in those states. But one of the big issues, let me tell you, is Oregon is somewhere in the neighborhood of $150 per offense. Washington is even higher than that. And the offenses, the, the, the penalties go up much higher. And in one of those states, it goes up to 2000 and jail time. So there's significant issues with deterrence in those states that we don't have in California. I do want to go back to what we've spoken about in a number of our no-holds-barred shows related to traffic rules and offenses. And again, why would you put yourself in a position to be pulled over for using your cell phone or for texting and in incurring that $20 uh, uh, fine? That's bad enough. Uh, but what happens if your license is suspended or you've got alcohol in the car or you had a drink 
or any of the reasons we've talked about before that you don't need the police pulling you over and stopping you or the dead body in the trunk of your car. So texting and use of the cell phone, there's a reason why uh, there's a statute that says you shouldn't do it because it injures people and it kills people. So many accidents are a result of uh, distracted driving and so many deaths that if it weren't for distracted driving wouldn't occur. So what's the moral of the story? Get your cell phone in a device that's hands-free. Don't text while you're driving and you're going to be okay. An interesting difference between the cell phone rules in Washington or Oregon and California, and it might be another reason why uh, the, the occurrences are, are, are less in those two states, is that in California, it appears that if you're sitting in your car at a stoplight and you're texting, uh, there's an argument that you're not driving and texting at the same time uh, in Washington and Oregon use of it at any time if you're out on the road uh, results in a violation if you're caught. Now we do know because of the pandemic that uh, lots and lots of police agencies uh, were not making enforcement stops, were not out getting people off the road, um, were not contacting people, uh, and they were actually doing it purposefully. Now more and more uh, agencies are back, they have the the uh, staff to stop people because of safety issues uh, and deaths and occurrences of, uh, of accidents. The police are starting to enforce these rules. Uh, I actually went to um, the traffic court in one of our cities here in Contra Costa County and I spoke with the traffic commissioner and I said, is anyone out at all? of writing tickets for people using their cell phones or texting, because I, I see it everywhere. And everyone tells me that. We just, we just just see it everywhere. Remember when it first happened, when the first rules came out and you had the phone, oh, I can't answer it, or I got to put it aside because uh, I don't want anyone. Now people just blatantly, they just don't seem to care. The traffic commissioner said, oh no, I see about 25 uh, case, such cases every single day in my traffic court here in Contra Costa County. And I thought, wow. So uh, it is being enforced. Uh, there are fines. And it's something that you really need to stop doing. Stay tuned for the next episode of No Holds Barred.